Hello. Have you ever wondered if a, if the content of a country's media is influenced by its communication norms? Well, after a lot of research and information gathering, we have we concluded that yes, it is being influenced by its communication norms. And for the rest of this video, we are going to be talking on how the content of a country's media is influenced by its communication norms. Firstly, media is referred to as any channel in which information is spread within people. Some examples of media include the, like television, internet, social media, um, television programs, and so on. Communication norms, on the other hand, can be referred to as all the communication patterns which are considered respectable by a society. And also, communication norms vary between countries. Like, for example, what's being accepted as a communication pattern in Japan might not be accepted as a communication pattern in Belgium. If the content of a country's media was not influenced by its communication norms, then we will see that all the news in the world will be displayed in exactly the same way by all countries but nowadays that's not the case because we can see that the same news is being displayed differently by many by many countries so my colleague Sevda is going to give you more examples on this social norms are usually the unwritten social behaviors that are to be accepted in society or a social group the setting of norms starts early at home by the roles that have formed both our parents and continue to form as we grow to other stages of our lives Media provides access to information that may have been limited in the past. More importantly, it opens an eye in other societies. This puts the validity of our own norms into question, which can be a, both a positive and a negative consequence. No matter how neutral you seem to think, media like social norms affect each other. A very recent example of this is the re Russian media coverage of the war in Ukraine. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in late February, People around the world would have watched the war, have watched the war play out in detail, at least in countries with open access to social media platforms. The Russian media cover, covers it as a military operation, while most other countries identify this as a war. We should be aware of the history and perspective of different countries to understand why the coverage is different. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, NATO gained more and more influence in former Soviet states. This is a painful evolution for Russia since they were once a very powerful nation. It sees that other countries are uniting and ga gaining more and more power. The content itself is not the only thing that is influenced by social norms. For example, when the Taliban took power in Afghanistan, women were forbidden to show themselves without a headscarf. Later on, films and programs with women were banned from national television. So here I would like to show a few schemas that fit well with what I just said. The first one is more than 4 out of every 10 media have closed since the Taliban takeover. So according to a report published in December by Reporters Without Borders, 40% of the media outlets have closed over the past 5 months, with an estimated 6,400 journalists losing their jobs. Also, hundreds have fled the country. A second schema is a map of the proportion of the media in each province that has stopped operating since the Taliban takeover. The last one is more than four out of every five female media workers have lost their jobs. So the report added that over 80% of female journalists are now out of work. You can see the clear difference between man and woman. The Taliban takeover brought a change in the content that was presented by social norms. New social norms came, and as a result, the content of the media began to change a lot. There is another example of how social norms affect media content in Jordan. This Middle Eastern country has more conservative views of sexuality. When the TV series The Jinn, a Jordanian news series, appeared, it received a lot of critics about how the main characters kiss outside marriage and use vulgar language so many Jordanians considered this inappropriate for Jordanian society also in Turkey so uh, the script for Netflix Love, uh, Love 101 was changed after government critics implicated the sexual orientation of one, uh, of, one of the main characters in the original script Osman was a gay character but due to pressure from the government 
the writer changed uh, this and did not show uh, how his sexual orientation uh, when the series aired. Another example uh, is Syria, where a used series uh, was shown a while ago, uh, which called Chicago Street. Also, it had bad words and abnormal behavior, which was not shown on TV before in Syria. Indeed, there was a violent response from the public and the government, and uh, this series was this series was banned. We can say that most Arab countries ha have the same issue, such as uh, Syria and Jordan, but especially in Saudi Arabia, where there is a lot of, of pressures and monitoring on the media, where anything can cause consequences. But on the other hand, there are some Arab countries that do not have a problem with this issue such as Lebanon in, in which everything can appear in the media and there is no problem at all. As we tried to show with the previous examples, the content of media in different countries is influenced by the social norms that are ruling in these different countries. This might be caused by two main reasons. The first is the government. The government has a huge impact on what content is shown and they might restrict um, broadcasting companies and content creators to show explicit content in a certain country. For example, when the Turkish series had to rewrite the script about a homosexual character, this was caused by the government because they didn't want to show homosexuality explicit on their television or to their people. They think it was not appropriate for Turkish society to do so. On the other hand, we have the people itself of a certain country. They have a huge impact on how broadcasting companies will show certain topics because if it's not appropriate, people will start to uh, criticize broadcasting companies and content creators about what content they are showing. They might think it's not appropriate for children to watch this or that, or for themselves, they don't like to see certain topics, like for example, the Jordanian series of Jin, that received a lot of criticism, and the actors itself received a lot of criticism because they were playing roles that were not appropriate according to many Jordanians. So, for people, living in countries that, who are creating content or companies who are creating content, they have always have to take in consideration what social norms in a certain content, a country are. Because if they do not take these um, social norms in consideration, the people or the government might start to cause problems and they will receive a bad name. A lot of taboos cannot be discussed in programs and videos or content that is shown to certain public and content might differ from, from country to country. For example, in Europe, Western Europe, it might differ from Eastern Europe or the Middle East and South America might have different social norms and therefore the content of this of series in the different countries might differ. Or for example, the Chinese government cuts out certain scenes in movies because they do not think it's appropriate for Chinese society to show these taboo topics like, for example, homosexuality or things that go against the Chinese government. Therefore, it is very important to know that these social norms also might cause restrictions on what is shown on television. We have now established that the content of a country's media can be influenced by that country's communication norms, and we showed you some examples. But it can also go the other way around. Media coverage also has an impact on people's beliefs, attitudes and behaviors. With the continuous development of communication, from printed and electronic media to social media, the influence of media has increased. Media is responsible for delivering correct information. But with the increase of access, also comes a lot more fake news. Anyone can write a tweet, and a lot of people will believe it and spread it around even more.
The influence of mass media has an effect on many aspects of human life, such as voting a certain way, individual views and beliefs, or they can bias a person's knowledge on a specific topic by providing him or her with false information. The overall influence of mass media has increased drastically over the last few years, and it will continue to do so as media itself develops. A study by Dr. Michael Workman concluded that social media can affect bias. When people are seeking new information about a certain topic, social media can influence their minds. But if they already have made up their minds on something, like politics or religion, they mostly seek out information to confirm what they already believe is true. People who tend to seek other people's opinions are statistically more likely to change their minds based on what people say online. Workman also said that social media users should educate themselves about the influence of social media and think critically about topics before taking a stance. He said, and I quote, We fail when we do not study the issue to understand complexities to make an informed decision. This is our video of how the content of a country's media can be influenced by that country's communication norms and vice versa. Thank you for watching.